Hello, my name is Bryce. Today I will be showing you how to create boundaries within the Operations Center. There's three different methods I will be showing you. Let's get started. From the Operations Center map page, if we scroll over to Setup, drop that down, and click on Land, this is going to load our Land Manager tool within the Operations Center. Anything to do with fields, guidance lines, boundaries, flags, will all be found within the Land Manager tool. We're going to utilize Baker 30 as our example today. If we hover over Baker 30 and scroll over and click on our plus box, this will give us the ability to create a flag, a boundary, or a track, or guidance line. We're going to go ahead and click on boundary. There's two different ways we can create a boundary. We can draw a new one, or we can create a boundary off of a previous operation. So those previous operations could be a seeding map, harvest map, application map, or tillage map. I'm going to show you the draw new one right now and we'll come back to the previous operation one in a little bit. Down to the bottom right hand corner click next. Now at this point we need to go and find where our field physically is and then zoom in. Over on the right hand side we got three different tools that we can utilize to draw the boundary. So we can use a polygon tool. If we had a circle or a pivot field we can use a circle tool and then also a rectangle tool. We're going to use a polygon because we've got kind of an irregular shaped field. We're going to scroll in, zoom in to one point or one corner and start there. We're just going to go all the way around the field. I'm just clicking uh, to lay the point down and then I'm clicking and dragging to kind of move around the field here. You can zoom out to make things go a little bit faster and then zoom in when you get to the corners if you want to place it in a, in a perfect spot. I'm going to do this pretty quick here just to kind of show you the process. We can always come back in and edit these points. If they get off a little bit we can always come back and, and re-edit them. Now when we get all the way around the field we want to go back to our starting point, line up with that and click. That will then connect all the dots and create our boundary for that field. There's a couple things we still have to do on the right hand side here to make this boundary create. We're going to go to name and we're going to type in a name. I'm going to put exterior. If this was the only um, boundary for this field, this box would automatically check as the active boundary box. We can have multiple boundaries for a given field, but we can only have one active at any given time. It'll show you how many acres are within that boundary we just created, whether it's an exterior or interior that we want to create. And then at the way bottom is where we would click save to create that boundary. Now our boundary has been created. The name of our boundary is there, when we created it or modified it, how we made it, and then the acres within it. So the second method I'm going to show you, we're going to go over to the left hand side, we're going to open up our menu box again, look at our Baker 30 field. We're going to create a boundary off our previous operation. Go to the bottom and click on next. Now anything that you have underneath this field for an operation, whether it's a planting map, um, a harvest map, application or tillage map, it's gonna find that in this list down here. We only have one harvest map associated with this particular field, so that's all it's finding. So we're gonna click on that. We also need to enter a name here. It's not gonna allow me to enter the same name, so I'm gonna go exterior one. And it's going to give us a preview of what, um, what our boundary is going to look like based on the coverage map that it's finding, our corn coverage map. We're going to click on Save. And it's now going to create that, that particular boundary, and then it's going to make that one active. So if you notice now, it says active, but the source does not say hand-drawn anymore. It now says previous operation. So just to show you what that looks like, let's go back into our Baker 30 field. We will now see two boundaries underneath our Baker 30 field. The exterior one, which is the one that I just created off the previous coverage map, is now active. Our hand-drawn boundary that we created is still there but not active right now. The third way to create boundaries is in a, in, in a group mode. Um, we can create multiple boundaries with one click of a button. Now we only have one field in this account. so. That's not going to work very well for our situation, but if you had multiple fields, you could create boundaries off of previous coverage maps in one click. So let's go to the top and click on More. 
and we're going to go to the bulk boundary creator. This is going to be an automated boundary creation system dependent upon how many fields you have in your account. It's going to create a boundary around all of those fields if they do not have one today. The only thing that you have to do is click on run boundary generator. Now, if we look at the priority on which the operational data is going to be pulled from, it's going to utilize a seeding map for the current year first. If it does not see a seeding map for the current year, it's going to look for a seeding map from last year, and so on and so forth down the list. If we click on bound, run boundary generator, it's going to take some time to generate this, but all the fields that it finds, it's going to create boundaries on them, and then they're going to show up on your main operation center map page. So I'll show you what that looks like. We now created that Baker 30 field, so we'll now see that that field is on our main operation center map page. Once again, if you had multiple fields under this account, you'd be able to zoom out and see where all of your fields are located. Thank you for watching. Connect with us by subscribing to Precision Ag Answers on YouTube and following RDO Equipment Company on social media. Visit rdoequipment.com for more Precision Ag resources and solutions.